What is up, Cart Lifer? Sammy D here with one of the biggest tour reactions, if not the biggest tour to come to Mario Kart Tour, the Me Tour. Not just the Me Tour, not just We Mushroom Gorge, but level eight in Mario Kart Tour. Oh man, we've made our peace with it already, but oh, this is gonna be a tough blow. We're gonna take it, we're gonna learn, we're going to enter in a new phase of the game with a newfound long game conservative approach that's really gonna take me back to some of my earliest Mario Kart Tour strats. I'm so excited actually to go there to take a little bit of the stress off that's plagued the game over the past several months where so much great content has come to this mobile game. Mario Kart 8 DLC coming during this tour. Hope to cover it on the channel with some kind of playthrough later in week two. But right now, in three minutes, the tour launches. We're gonna react to it all. We're gonna break it down. Me's coming to Mario Kart Tour. Your own personal me, my Sammy, me making a return back in the Wii days. I grew up playing every Nintendo console from Super Nintendo in 92 all the way till now and every Mario Kart along the way, including Mario Kart Wii and other games from the Wii era, Wii U era, and the Switch now where you can play as your me. And so the Sammy me will make his appearance here. I'll share it with you guys if I can. And then we're having the me suits. How will these me suits impact the meta of the game, the strategy, the items, coin box, the gold suit, the bronze suit, the silver suit, these other character suits, token shops, where we're gonna be buying possibly some of these suits. What pipes will we have? What packs? Where I will still be getting a birthday pack, two of them most likely. I didn't get a pack last tour on my birthday tour. I'm waiting for this tour. I'm seeing what's in store. But we had a great time in the Sky Tour. Um, it was so much fun. Thanks for following all the content here at Car Life and all the other content creators out there. Thank you for the great work you do. Wanna give a big special shout out to all my members watching in the video today in the chat if you're here for the premiere. I'm gonna really enjoy taking in all of the insights we're gonna learn about this new era of the game. And I wanna just say as a disclaimer right now, let's be patient. Patience plus, the number one skill in Mario Kart Tour. I've always said this to you guys. We're gonna learn so much about how the new bonus points for items certain skills, certain driver skills, is going to maybe affect the meta just slightly. Uh, how level eight's gonna work? How many tickets is it gonna take to get to level eight? When are we gonna start making those moves? How is daily selects gonna work? A whole new daily selects um, structure, most likely what we're in store for. So many changes. In fact, there might be some things we don't even know about yet. So members, thank you. And a special thanks to my new whale captain. That's right a new inductee into the Whale Captain Society. It's Brian, no static at all. None, none whatsoever. You thought there was static? Think again, no static. Don't even think about static. Nowhere to be found here. Uh, Brian, thank you for your support, man. And also new to the pit crew, Millicent and the KFET. The KFET coming through out of nowhere with the most generous don't know. I, I just am blown away by the generosity of the patrons to this community. And I really want to thank you all, Jeeves and Aussie Car, especially for the Dono train coming in on my birthday stream. We'll get some birthday facts this tour, okay? Let's open it up, guys. We have one minute to go. We're going to open it up and look at ranked cup results. I'm not going to spend much time talking about it. I came in first. I didn't have too hard of a time. And let me just say that I've been allocating and uh, conserving my resources for the past couple of months, other than taking charge and chuck to level four, double uncapped, I really haven't used many high-end tickets, if any, since Meowser in the New Year's tour. Is it gonna be eight tickets to take something to level eight or 10 tickets or less or something more? I'm, I'm a little scared. We're gonna go through it all together. And once again, have patience over the coming days and honestly, the coming weeks and even months. Data miners, the data gurus, those out there who are really going to be crunching the numbers, Antelev, Reichenbach, Bam and Gerbs, um, everyone out there doing this work for the community, Tabor, finding the buffs, finding the ways that the game is going to be changed with all these new things, tier 80, player level 300, um, and level 8 as the big headline. So let's be patient with our strats, see what unfolds. We're gonna learn a lot that I'm not necessarily probably even gonna realize right now in this video. So this is my first take, first reaction. And I think it's about time to open up the app and take a look. Here we go, guys. Oh my gosh, level eight. 
my birthday tour ushering in yet another level uh, paradigm shift uh, in the levels of Mario Kart Tour and how it works for our game. But I'm really happy with where my account's at. I think I'm in a good place to go into this part of the game. I know a lot of the whales, basically everyone has made peace with this. It's been a much easier adjustment than it was level seven last year. Um, and I'm really confident that this is gonna be a fun new era where we can kind of take a back seat. Oh wow, 110 megabytes. Oh, I didn't mean to practice while downloading. So, you know, this level 300, player level 300, for example, I'm at 150, of course, maxed. There have been some tools out there, thanks to Hydra Snapshot, and a tool Reichenbach made as well, where we can kind of predict, uh, maybe, if the points work the same, what player level we'll jump to. I'm sure you guys already having opened up the app have all uh, found out what player level you've jumped up to, um, if they, assuming they've in, in, initiated that already, so let us know in the chat. I'm curious to see how Kareem the Dream and others I know who have been putting in that player level grind on all the tracks, couch as well. Some people might jump quite high, no one probably to 300 or anywhere even close. I think it's gonna be a long a long haul goal for all of us, which is honestly exciting for the future of the game. Plus we have Mushroom Gorge coming to Mario Kart Tour. It's gonna be very exciting. I don't know how we're gonna get to it all in this video, but we're gonna take a look at all of it and more insights and analysis in the days and weeks ahead. Okay, me tour now open and we see in the loading screen, usually the spotlights for every tour. So will these me suits be in the pipes? What's the special pipe gonna be? Here we are guys, it's the Mushroom Gorge me tour and we'll get, we're going, oh my gosh. So they're going right into the me. It's race with me characters. Here's a suit to race in. We're just... Okay, I don't like the blank, empty suits. Um, they're kind of weird looking to me, but this confirms they are high ends. They each have their own special skill. Uh, we knew this, but we're gonna be collecting them. They're giving us one to start with. So let's go red meat racing suit. Choose a me to suit up. Now, how do we choose our own? It's not giving us, oh, add me. Okay, so it's giving us a bunch of default me's to start with, so that's cool. If you haven't made your me, uh, you can pick one of these um, characters, very cool. I love the me designs. I mean, like I said, I, I played through the whole Wii era, so I spent a lot of time with the me's and the Wii, uh, Wii Sports and all those games. Um, oh my gosh, so I, we can get, I can give you the number of my me pretty soon here. Okay, continue. I was wondering how this is gonna work. So we're signing into our Nintendo account to select the me here. All right, I'm selecting my me, which I showed you guys in my video today. Select this me. I'm, I'm big and tall in case it affects the hitbox. We've been talking about this. So I'll go back and edit it to be small if I don't like. Oh, it's Sammy, look at this. This is crazy, oh my gosh. Uh, I don't even know what's happening right now. Me added, okay, very simple interface. Where is my me? Down at the bottom? Do I have to find in here? Are you kidding, are you crazy? Oh, it's at the top. Okay, choose this me, face plus helmet. Okay. Race with me racing suits. Your player level can now be increased further. Oh gosh. This is, this is already the reveal right here. Has it shown me already? Okay, I'm at 150. Are we stuck at 150? Okay. Okay, let's see how we go, guys. Predictions for how high I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna say I am gonna be no higher than 172. Somewhere between 150 and 172. Last time we did this, I famously only went up a few levels. It was horrible. So let's click through and see how far I can go. And we're getting level up rewards along the way. 153, when will it stop? Oh my gosh, predictions in the chat, guys. I love, I, I wanna hear about you guys and how far you climbed with this. Okay, come on, position points. I just hope I get more than at least 160. I basically stopped doing the, the track grinds a while ago. Um, I kept a record of all the tracks for quite a while, and I just, I stopped uh, in recent months. It's just not been a priority for me. Got some rubies out of this too. 161, 162, 163. Let's go, let's get to 170 at least, come on. This is hilarious. Oh my god, I don't want it to stop. I don't want it to stop. This is amazing. I forgot about the rubies. Oh my god, 171. Let's go. 
Let's go, 172. That was my my minimum prediction. 174, 175, I love it. I mean, in the early days of like last year, I was doing a lot of player level grind. I just haven't in the past few months on new tracks. Oh my gosh, but I haven't been quitting out as much as I used to. 180, let's go baby, come on, keep it coming. This is so crazy. Oh my god, the endorphins that are flowing. So many notifications, so many rubies, so many coins. I'm just tapping as fast as I can at this point. 188, 189, 190? Yes! Dude, can we get to 200? No! 190, guys. 190 and 99.2 with one to go. I'm okay with that. I knew this was going to be... And this is the horrors of being a YouTube content creator. When your camera dies and loses 20 minutes of tour reaction footage. <sighs> Thankfully, to recap, most of it was me reading the fine print of all the new things coming into this tour, all of which you guys know. So we're gonna save a little time and I'm gonna tell you some of my, um, my bullet point reactions to some of the things that I just read in the news. As we just crossed now into 191 player level after one race through Mushroom Gorge with my, me, Sammy. That's right. Hollow Waluigi also getting top shelf and look at these, all of these me suits top shelf in Mushroom Gorge. So sorry for the lost 20 minutes of video, but I'll keep this video shorter. Maybe the algorithm will like it more. This is why I should be live streaming, but I know you guys sometimes like the cart life set and you want to see all my pretty toys. So here we are and uh, we'll do Mushroom Gorge again because I want to show you my top shelves. But as for the news, the most interesting things to take away for me, uh, eight tickets to get to level eight. This is exactly what we were uh, assuming right in the middle. Could have been better with five, which was unlikely to me. Could have been worse with 10 tickets. So it's eight tickets. Super tickets are looking like a lot. Let's check at that. Super tickets right now, 16 tickets. We were hoping for 12, so that's higher than expected. Let's look at the normals. 40! Are you flipping kidding me? It's 40. Not even 35. It's double. So the high-end ticket is actually a shorter jump. But let's go to daily select news because this is key to me. Um, we know that the daily specs are completely reshuffled at this point. I'm going to go right to it. Well, let's just go. Me suits, we've already talked about all of this, right? You're getting the toad suit. We're getting in the tier challenges. Let's start there, actually. Very interesting. Tier challenge pages is right here after the normal ones where each week through winning in ranked cup, basically 100 times racing, 30,000 total. So those three are coming there. Now, this is interesting about the other me suits. Look at this, guys. I was blown away when I just opened this up. I'll recreate my shock. 70 rubies per racing suit, and you can buy them three times each. This is unprecedented, being able to buy something outright with rubies. It's more than a 10 pole, so think of it like you're doing a high end, uh, uh, sorry, a 10 pole plus five single YOLOs, and you're getting the high end that you wanted. Um, now, is it worth it to level up once, you know, or one ticket, 70 rubies for one level up ticket basically to buy them again? I don't think a lot of people are going to be doing that, but I could be wrong. But these three are accessible there. Now, Rosalina's we are getting through, is it ranked cup? Yes, it is. Check this out. First place and ranked. And only first place you get roses. The race is on. And Kay Foolish, one of my original friends in my friend list on Cart Life, is in my ranked and number one. He's the one to beat. So Kay Foolish, if you're out there, also Artero. We got Enrique. We got Archibald, Shingaza, Lowy, Bechtel. Shout out to the Bechtel test. Uh, Shiran Tensei. Don Congrejo, we've seen you before in Ranked Cup, I know, uh, in mine and others as well. So if you're out there, please leave a comment. Kit Kat, Dos Conale, Samuel, another Sam, Robert Cox, Roberto Cox, and Hyun Woo, Zhui Ren, and others in my Ranked Cup. Um, but wow, Rosalina suit is the number one. And do we want to collect these all? Do we want to buy with these rubies? 
I think we might. I mean, I'm not pulling on these 100 pipes. The 100 pipes are, as a lot of people predicted, the builders, and then we know that they will be Explorer Peach shown here and Peach at to uh, Peach. At Blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm losing my mind here. Toadette uh, Explorer in week two, so I'm not gonna be pulling. I don't need the mush, mustache gliders. That's the only thing that's pipe locked in here. I don't think there's a new glider or cart in week two. So yeah, I guess we'll we'll do that. I guess that'll be, um, we'll be start trying to collect all these guys. So the tier challenges for the three metallics confirmed in the news, and then the others are gonna be through this shop. And then that first planked, First place Rosa suit. They're pretty. They're putting a big premium on that one. That's really interesting. I don't love the packs. Cat Toad, DKS, and ES. Um, I don't have them, and I don't have the yellow eight bit pipe frame, which is new. It's paywalled here in this pack. So that's probably going to be my double birthday splurge right there. I don't need the black great seal anymore. Um, data mining is probably out there already in the discords. I'm sure. I think we're looking at a special pipe for Mario Day, um, which could come out on Mario Day which is the day after tomorrow. Uh, but Mario's are, are coming in the special pipe. Here in the token shop, you're gonna get your toad suit. It's it's priced at 300 tokens, which is um, just more than Metal Mario. I, I make of that what you will. 100 is what you should think of as the value, but they're putting it on sale for us right now. Are you gonna collect them? Is it gonna be necessary to collect them? Am I gonna be spending, let's see, 210 rubies on these three suits and then never end up using them. At least that's not 450 rubies, you know? Uh, we're not draining a pipe for it. So it's an interesting strat. I advise everyone with all of the stuff in this tour to be patient because the data gurus are gonna be crunching some numbers. We're gonna be looking at all of the track buffs. We're gonna be looking at um, the uh, bonus points for the lower skills that have been increased. That was also announced in the news. We'll have the numbers on all that soon. You can see it a little bit when we're racing, but I don't have, I'm not gonna go through every item and try to calculate them right here on this video. There's plenty of time for that. And regarding daily selects, this is one of the biggest shakeups in the whole game right now. You can see here, there's chapters to this news item. There's so many things. Um, by the way, the Luigi suit is going to be a free-to-play tour gift uh, in the place of Baby Luigi with like a Holy Trinity gift bundle with the um, pipe buggy and prompt plant parafoil. But if we go to here, changes in this tour, there's the bonus points. Uh, data selects, here's what you may find. So we see, uh, I went through all these, but we lost the footage. There's, there's the supers you might expect, like the Bros and Monty Mole and Red Yoshi, Black Shy Guy, Pink Shy Guy, et cetera, Red Koopa Free Running, but you got a handful of high ends added to each one of these categories. Wintertime Peach, I'm seeing here, Cat Peach, um, uh, Dixie Kong, Funky Kong, and Ice Mario. So these are all, all clear pipe items. Uh, very interesting. And then in the carts, you're seeing them scattered throughout here as well. Like the Dozer Dasher, Banana Master, uh, the Off-Roader is, is one now, which is very cool. Um, there's others sprinkled in there as well. I'm sure we'll have a full list presentable to you on the Discord at this time. And gliders as well, Tropical Glider, Dragon Wing, Strawberry Donut, etc. Looks like about five or six high ends added to each and a few supers as well, uh, depending on how many things were released uh, before that date. This is interesting in the tickets. I wanted to read right here on the high uh, fine print. This is potentially huge. So high end level boost tickets will have a slight chance of appearing in spot seven through nine, just as it is right now. So there's a slight chance. I did not get one today. Let me know in the chat if you did. But this, if you have a driver, cart or glider already at the maximum level, a level boost ticket or a points cap ticket may appear instead. A points cap ticket, first of all, points cap ticket, that is not shown in this list. The types of tickets that can appear, it does not say point cap tickets. So I don't know if that's an error, they should have put that in there, what's going on, but we have not had points cap tickets appear in data selects ever before. That's a big deal. Plus this implies that there are not groups to max, it's going back to maxing one single data select. So then this is where the patience comes in once again, as the data miners and the data gurus out there try to learn uh, what these rates are like. How often does Donkey Kong appear in the data selects? What are the most likely things to appear as we collect this data of all of our shops? And then those are the things you might focus on maxing first, but don't do anything today. Don't go out maxing the gold glider right now. I mean, you can if you really want to. It, 
it could give you that high end slot, but th that might only give you a ticket when the gold glider appears. You want to be maxing things that appear more regularly, but we got to be careful that we're not just applying all of our old rules onto this until we learn actually how it all works. So patience plus the number one skill in Mario Kart Tour, remember like I always say, we will figure it out together. So very interesting, a lot more fine print here. The all cup badges are, are like the blank red helmet, which is kind of weird, uh, kind of cool at the same time, I can't tell. Uh, this really scared me when I saw the exchange. I was thinking we're gonna be exchanging something, but this just pulls up like a, a bare bones uh, screen and it's just announcing the, the Ruby uh, prices for those. Um, let's see, so in my daily selects today, it was another note that we can observe here. No tickets, I did get uh, this point, uh, point boost ticket, but notice down here the piranha, sorry, the banana parafoil, it's back to 2000. So this is the original price of a super glider. This was a premium super glider. It was 3000, now it's 2000. Now in the fine print, it did say that certain data select items will be priced higher than others or maybe priced higher than others. So there may be premiums. This might have been now a grandfathered into the normal super gliders and will have other premiums. So again, we will see. I don't see any premium priced items in here for me. Everything is normal priced. So we'll have to see. Making sure my camera is working. We are still on the air. Oh man, I hate losing footage like that. Okay. Uh, down here in the tier shop, we got three high ends right at the top, which is kind of nice. My camera is wobbly. A full set here, Cat Peach Cut Cruiser, Silver Star Shoot. That's very nice. Um, we were told we're going to be giving these premium priced high end tickets here every single week. So you can count on that. Um, and, and that's going to be more than enough to spend money on. We're not going to earn more coins than that. You might have a chance at a normal priced high end ticket in data selects, but these are always gonna be here for just a few thousand more. It's a very interesting new strat. They also threw in an extra glider for me. I don't know if you guys got that. I don't think so. It's random RNG. Um, so that's interesting. I got an extra glider ticket to work with there. But my stash, look at this. After the login bonuses, which opened up, I think also in the lost footage from a few minutes ago, but 10, car, uh, 10 driver cart and glider high-end tickets each, amazing. So that is definitely what we got. Um, that's leaving me with 27 driver tickets. I got five of them. They'll put me to five more. They're coming in little increments, five, 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 and coins, rubies, and five, five, five coins, rubies. So I'm gonna be really looking good. I'm gonna be at, I'm gonna be at 32 drivers, 22 carts, and 26 gliders. By far the most I've ever had. I've been very conservative since Meows were like I was saying. Um, what else? Shop. Yeah, I mean, you guys, the, the info is all here and um, we just now have to make sense of it over the coming days and weeks. Um, and let me know what, what player level you guys reached when you opened up all your player levels. I know that Kareem and Couch and some others are probably over 220, 230, something like that. I'm very excited to see how everyone does. Um, we can see what tracks are here. We can already see top shelf me's appearing in the thumbnails. So four, um, four ranked, like I said, a lot of them, all, all of the suits I think are in here, right? Except like DK or something. No, they're all in here. Plus DK Jr. SNES got another buff. Are you freaking kidding me, man? Kicking off the level eight era with yet another buff from the King Jr. Amazing. So this is interesting. I can use my level one Halo Luigi, or I can, um, for example, you could buy this guy, have a giant banana driver and throw some tickets on there and start grinding giant banana on this track. There's a lot of options, right? These gold suits, we're not gonna have them for a little bit. Um, we can't use them this week, but they're on this track, all of them. I wonder how many tracks they, they're each starting with like eight tracks with unlocks. And they're all from this tour. This is just gonna be, it's gonna take some time to unpack, like I said. And Antelope, poor Antelope's still on vacation. Shout out to you, man. Um, but let's race with Sammy and you can see how it looks. <laughs> My little voice. Uh, this is a spotlight boost, so this is not normal on this track, but I am got lucky with my level six black dozer, which is a spotlight. Otherwise, it's the Cupid cart. The Merlion is here and a few other rare ones. 
And then for gliders, the Royal Parachute coming back out of nowhere. This is a big year one cart for me, year 1.5. It's four and double capped, so that's cool. Maybe it's getting a, a little bit of a another little moment here. That's really interesting. I like when they do that with all their things. And then we got the Luigi uh, Parafoil, which I bought as a, a top 100 ACR treat. And then this rare Golden Wings, which I haven't done anything with. So let's do a race, and we'll talk about Wii. I really uh, loved my first race through with this just now. Um, it felt exactly like the Wii track felt to me. So, you know, having played all the Mario Kart games and the Wii era, Mushroom Gorge is a big fan favorite. You know what? I look big. Wait a second. I think my heavyweight knee is a thing. It looks really big, guys. I think I, I, think I became a heavyweight. All right, we're gonna have to try some others. I think we just hacked into a large hitbox. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's the beautiful cave. Two paths. On the right, we have these flat green plat uh, mushroom platforms. On the left, it's going to be... I remember that was always the way I like to go in Wii. And it was... Um, you're going to have some glide time, and you're going to have some extra coins there in the sky as you go. There was a shortcut to the left in the original Wii. I don't think it's here right now. I haven't really explored. Let's go to the left this time, though. This feels so authentic to the to the Wii version. I can't even tell you guys. To me, some nice dash panels here, coins. It's awesome. We need to do the reverse. I'm not pulling any pipes, though. That's for sure. So here's the glide part, and we're going up here. Let's watch out for blue shells on this. Oh, wow, there's even more. I wonder if you can glide over and hit a Goomba, like on his head. That's what I want to figure out. So Mushroom Gorge looking really good. I'm going to go to my camera. Uh, I'm going to take this data to kind of like edit my me a little bit. <laughs> his forehead really is really big when you look at it at this angle. So here's Sammy, guys. Check him out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like the little handkerchief. I'm really not super into the Miis though. I mean, I love them for uh, their iconic nature in the Nintendo history books and the history, the canon, but um, I would rather have, you know, Mario characters. I hope that there's, I mean, gosh, there's another wave coming next tour. I just hope we're not doing me, me suits tour after tour after tour. And just like that, Bechtel, Don, Cangrejo, and this one here, Wow, Peach Happy on both tracks, huh? Let's 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 remind ourselves of these other loadouts because this is gonna be a competitive ranked cup, man. Getting that Rosa suit, even though it's just a collectible, right? It's uh, it's a high end, so very crazy. Uh, Meowser level seven maxed. Tanuki cart. I'm gonna take over the black to Roberto just because it's slightly bigger. Um, and then Starry. Starting Great Sale, six double capped, uh, or the Silver Sheriff Master, exact same stats for me. So that's a really good loadout. And this track, I mean, aren't both these tracks coming back really recently? How many times does Remix Rainbow Road RT come in? This is why I mean like all the algorithms and spreadsheets with the different tracks for ranked, I mean, some come up way more than others. I can't believe how many times we've had this track. Bowser Santa. Party wing. I just I just invested in this for ranked cup. This just happened like a like a month ago. Uh, level six glinting glider. So that's really nice. Let's go to another mushroom gorge real quick. I want to see the hitbox situation for for Sammy. Bowser's castle is back. Sky Gardens cheap cheaps. Mushroom gorge tea. Okay, let's do it. Oh, nice charging chuck top shelf. This is next week's ranked. So next week's ranked, Cheap Cheap Island has Charging Chuck, Double Cap Level 4, Peach Happy 5, Single Cap. I need to go ahead and give her Spa Day treatment, I think. Um, and then, yeah, wow. Okay, Combo Cruiser on at Level 3, so I can go ahead and push it there if I need to. That's cool. I guess we'll have both ranked weeks to, to get Rosa's suit, probably. Starry Great Sale yet again here. So that's Cheap Cheap Island next week. Calamari is, yep, Gold King Boo. And PGP level seven, double capped. Yep, 
Well, we're going to go with the heavyweight Gold King Blue or Gold King Bob-omb. The Black Dozer once again, and the Fireworks, which has been great for me always, ever since the original New Year's tour. And then, yeah, Mushroom Gorge T, Charge and Chuck. So actually, he would be on both tracks, so I might invest in him. He might pass happy. Combo Cruiser, yet again, double feature. Super Mushroom and Snow Crystals level three, single cap, interesting. This is cool, actually. Mushroom Gorge T. I like how this feels already. Look at those cool new tree models. Are those new or just like looking nice in the sun? What are these dash panels? We all saw this cave and we thought it was another rainbow road just because it it's so transformed with the sparkly things in the sky. Uh-oh. See, that's what happens in Mushroom Gorge, guys. Falling to your death. Wow, that looks cool. So yeah, I mean, if I if I change my me to be small, does that mean he's he's small? And I guess you guys gotta make sure your me's are big when you get that gold suit. I guess you could keep editing your me over and over again, or do you have to make a new one every time? We'll have to see. Okay. Again, lots of patience right now with the community and our data gurus. And really, just as we all formulate strategies going forward, a really nice, chill new era of MKT, I hope. It doesn't feel like we have to have the me suits right now, but you could get all of them for 210 rubies, which, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna have to learn these lines because we've never been able to trick all around Mushroom Gorge. So let me know what you think of the new track. I think it's very faithful to the original Wii. It feels the same way to me. So yeah, we're probably gonna wind down here in a minute, guys. There's gonna be so much to sift through in the coming days. Um, like I said, I gotta get some birthday packs. No birthday pulls. I won't be pulling Mario pipe. I won't be pulling any of these pipes. We're gonna regroup and chill really hard right now and I'm not even gonna buy the me suits yet until I know for sure that I want them. I'm pretty sure I will want them. Um, we also might wanna see what's coming next tour because I think these packs last all tour, right? These offers, let's take a look. 13 days, yeah. You can wait till the very last day because you're not gonna, if you're not gonna use these in ranked and I'm not, uh, this first track is the problem right here. Level one, level one. You could go all in on, on DK suit. I think some people are gonna be doing that. I, I, I predict a lot of people will go hard on this one. They'll buy it for 70 rubies. They might buy it a second time, but they'll probably just use high-end tickets. Although we're very, we're very careful with our high-end tickets right now at the same time. 70 rubies for one level up, I don't know. But if you did it three times just on DK, 210 rubies, he would be level three, and then you could throw two more tickets for level four, giant banana plus, that's an interesting strat. So we'll see how it plays out. Let's do our today's challenge pipe and just let this all sink in. And checking the shop just one more time to make sure I haven't forgotten to tell you guys anything. Interesting. Wow. Let me know about your data selects. I want to hear about if you got premiums or what. And let's just enjoy what, what we can figure out about all these strats in the coming weeks, like I said. The rundown will be good. I know Ansel is still on vacation. Um, looking forward to see what the other creators think. And I'm curious to see what Carlos and the Whales do. You know, if they buy these uh, suits three times, just because it's something new to buy and they want to be ahead of the curve, but it doesn't, it's unclear whether or not these are going to be essential to have or not. That's the big question. It's just the first tour, so we really won't know more for a while. You know, there could be a track in four or five months where your only top shelf driver is a me suit racer. I think it will generally increase the amount of top shelves, uh, top shelf options for people, right? That's, it's really only a good thing, I think. I don't know if they're going to let's say like coconut mall comes next tour they're not going to put like only this tour is me suits in there there's still going to be like a mario aviator in there somewhere or whatever you know who i'm very happy to have gotten just so crazy 
and player level 191. So a nice slow goal to, to work towards with player level 300, which it really implies the game's gonna be around for a while. That's the crazy thing. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right, what do I get in the TCP? Let's wear the gold cap just for the heck of it. Thanks for all of you guys tuning into Cart Life for this epic tour reveal. 20 coins to my coin count. Coins are precious. We're going back to basics, guys. No gold pipe, unless it's a fakie. Rubies? 500 coins, okay, I'll take it. The gold cap will have to stay, uh, stay, uh, Stay set aside until the next chance for some pulls. But we've done a lot of pulls this year. It's, not, it's nice to take a break from the pulls, actually. And rebuild. Rebuild. Okay, guys. That's all I got. Hey. Oh. 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 Didn't realize that was there. Let me know. You guys get anything in your free pipes. Baby Daisy, 140. Baby. Yes, let's go. What a long grind. I'm not even considering maxing any of that stuff right now. It's just so far from my mind right now. My high-end ticket stash is what it's going to be for a little while. You know, there might be one or two more here and there. And we got the Luigi racing suit. Very cool. Oh. See... That is a really weird perk because with just a couple point, a few point boost tickets, I can do that myself. And I don't, it doesn't say if it goes past the cap, but some of you guys might know, um, there's gonna be a lot of questions that you guys have answers to already. And that's the me tour. Oh man, maybe we'll do a ranked cup grind uh, stream. I do hope to see you guys soon in the tour and break it all down in the discord and in the other videos out there from everybody. Wow. Whole new world. Okay, guys, I'm going to hit the hay and do a little racing in bed before bed. But I'll see you guys on the Discord. Thanks so much for coming out. Let me know all of your thoughts on this new era in the game. 40 rubies. They still have not upped the rubies there. That kills me, man. And by the way, Bechtel, Don Congrejo, K Foolish, and Artero, and Enrique. Hit me up. Okay, guys, good luck. And uh, yeah, chill. Be patient. Uh, we're going to figure this all out and have fun with the game, man. It brings me back, like we were saying on Cart Talk, to my pure love of racing this game. And uh, it can be just as simple as that for a good while, while we figure things out. So thanks for everyone for coming, and we'll see you in the next one. Stay home, stay safe, be kind to one another, and talk to you soon. Bye.